Francesco Abrazzino with the Scoop News. I, I want to start off by prefacing that this may not be the actual brand home to um, property that they're looking at building in Northport. Uh, the company, Ladco, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, built that one out there in Nokomis on the way to North Jetty. Um, that seems to be the concept they uh, go with here locally, and they're looking at Northport. And so it's the same company, just not sure of it being a hotel, too. They are a Hilton based company that is Hilton based, and so I'm putting one and one together. Now, the report is that the county committee or the Northport City Commission is looking at having a public hearing this Tuesday to discuss the impact fees if this hotel is to be built. You got to look at it in perspective that there has been a hotel built in Northport, a new one, since 1973. And I believe this would be only the second hotel within the city limits there of Northport. So it's something that's critically needed there, especially with the Braves. The Braves plan on having workers, visitors um, there at the facility all year round. They'll need uh, long term and short term housing including hotel rooms and that's according to mike dunn who's the basically the operations manager there and he spoke at a real estate forum which was in northport just the other day and that was one of the many concerns that he had in terms of what are we going to do with the individuals coming to um, northport for the braves operations um, what they are looking at normally what happens is the impact fees are traditionally paid once the certificate of occupancy is issued you got to pay those impact fees. They're saying, well, that's good, but how about this? Will you allow us to put the um, impact fees, pay them on a deferred basis? And so that's something they're looking at. So we'll still get our impact fees. However, we'll be able to defer it and pay it over time. Um, the new ordinance, the way it will be written, will be basically a section that says the commission may defer the fees only if the development serves a valid public purpose and is made within 30 days of payment of the impact fee. So that meeting is going to be Tuesday. It's going to be at 6 p.m. at the Chamber of Commerce over there on 4970 City Hall. Um, the name of the company is Logico. Logico and they're out of michigan michigan based company and again i just drove by their hotel the this morning on the way to the jetty i drive by it all the time and i think we're putting a wawa next to them over there in nakoma so uh something they need and uh it sounds like a deal to me as long as they were getting our impact fees why not have them defer it you know it's tough to it's it, it's one way to encourage businesses to come into the neighborhood all right everybody this has been francesco operazzino with the scoop Thank you.